Hey, what's going on, you guys? Welcome back to my channel, The McCoy Gaming Experience. It's Wednesday, November the 11th. It's time for a new Red Dead Online video. In today's video, we'll be going over the daily challenges, Madame Nazar location, and collector spawn cycles. Before we get into the video, just want to let you guys know that if you are new to the channel, drop a subscribe, like, and turn on bell notifications. That lets me know that you enjoy the content. With all of that out of the way, let's get into today's Red Dead Online video. So getting into today's Red Dead Online video, first off, we'll take care of the daily challenges, and those daily challenges are three cooked seasoned flaky fish, five non-player enemies lassoed from horseback, two North American raccoons skinned, five oregano picked, three prairie chickens skinned, successfully fended off an ambush, and five wild mitt picked. So those are your daily general seven challenges. Getting into the daily roll challenges, and these uh, daily roll challenges does differ depending on uh, which, uh, what ranking you are in each roll. Uh, so getting into the bounty hunter challenges. First off, you do have two bounty targets lassoed from horseback, two bounty targets looted, and uh, one medium bounty mission completed. If you are a trader, you do have 10 small animal carcasses donated to Crips, 20 carcasses donated to Crips within 10 minutes, and three camp stews eaten. If you are a collector, you do have three arrowheads found, three coins found, and two collectibles found with a metal detector. As a moonshiner, you do have two moonshine story missions completed, two moonshine bar drunken player interactions, and one moonshine bar changed the core. And last but not least, the naturalist roll. Well, you do have two legendary animal samples taken, two legendary animals found using pheromones, and three wetland animal samples taken. Now, uh, wetland animals, they do include uh, alligators and, well, yeah, well, alligators for the most part. So you can uh, go to Lagrosse and uh, find all those alligators and, uh, you know, get those samples. And uh, challenge goals for today, as always, they're always going to be the same. Uh, seven daily general challenges completed and nine daily roll challenges completed. And as you can tell right now, my challenge streak is at number four. Um, I have completed 37 of 28 days, so I over exceeded the daily challenges in a roll, row actually. But the cool thing about it is, though, you know, if you're on challenge streak number four, you do have you do get like half of a gold bar for completing one of these challenges. So um, I hope you're stocking up on gold because uh, who knows, we may get a new update that contains buying property, and if that's the case, um, you know, I don't know exactly how legit it is, but um, you can probably buy property using gold. So be uh, stocking up on your gold because, as you can tell in the right-hand corner of the screen, top right-hand corner of the screen, that's where I'm at on gold, 92.99 92 gold. So um, I was actually about 130, but... As you can tell, I spent a little bit of it. Bought me a couple horses. <laughs> so, uh, you know, daily challenges for today. Easy to do. XP, gold, and money. Uh, next thing we're going to get into are the collector spawn cycles. And the collector spawn cycles does change daily. Keep that in mind. Now, if you want to uh, find all the collectible items, there is a free app called the Red Dead Online app. It's the unofficial Red Dead Online collector app uh, you can download it for free on any iPhone or Android device easy to use it helps you uh, collect everything that you may need now I'm just going to tell you straight up right now not only can you find all the collectible items but it does let you know where Madame Mazar location is as well it does get updated daily about 2 a.m. on the East Coast so keep that in mind but getting into the collector spawn cycles and again they do change every day We'll get into the collections that have fixed item drops, Hello. and those uh, collections are cards and bottles. Tarot cards and alcohol bottles are on cycle number four. Bird eggs and flowers, cycle number two. Getting into the collections that have random item drops, uh, coins are on cycle number three. Jewelry on cycle number five. Arrowheads, family heirlooms and fossils, all on Good. cycle oh, number sad. two. So again, easy to do, easy stuff to find. Cycles shouldn't be that complicated. Now, if you don't want to use the app, uh, follow Dirty Tyler on his YouTube channel. I'll drop a link into the description below. Dirty Tyler does break down all the uh, cycles and where everything's going to be at on the collectible items. So speaking of collectibles, um, Madame Nazar, everybody wants to know where she's at today. 
Well, Madame Nazar is going to be around the Bolger Glade area of Lemoyne. Around the, I guess, Scarlet Meadows, I believe is what you call. So, yeah, Scarlet Meadows, Roads, Lemoyne, whatever. I mean, I guess Lemoyne is like the whole area, basically. But around the Scarlet Meadows area, Bolger Glade, she's going to be around here. Just south of Rhodes. So, I mean, if you do have a fast travel or if you're near a fast travel, um, you can go ahead and fast travel to Rhodes and uh, make your way down to Madame Lazar. So, as we're getting into uh, traveling down to Madame Lazar, I just want you guys to know that if you have any collectible items, uh, go ahead and sell it to Madame Lazar because I will tell you right now, you do make you some extra cash. Especially if you sell all your collectible items individually. Now, that doesn't mean you can't make any uh, money selling anything as a set. But if you do, the main sets to focus on are the coins, fossils, and arrowheads. So keep that in mind. So, Madame Nazar, collectible items. I mean, I'm telling you right now, I mean, easy money to be made, especially if you're a collector or a trader. Yeah, you make you some great money being a trader as well. So, those are the main role, roles to actually focus on. And once you get those maxed out, then you can focus on other roles. I say uh, number three to focus on will be the naturalist role. Um... A lot of people is actually taking advantage of a uh, little, uh, I guess a little bit of a uh, deal where you can actually uh, go to Emerald Ranch and get samples of sheep, turning it into a uh, Harriet and whatnot, but that's a different day. We'll uh, do something else with the naturals roll, but as you can tell, Madame Nazar, right over here around the Boulder Glade area, so I overshot that with my waypoint, but here you go. Just south of Rhodes, we're in the Scarlet Meadows area of Bolger Glade. Or Bolger Glade area of Scarlet Meadows. So I always get that too, uh, them too mixed up. And there you have it, guys. Yeah, we got the Madame Nazar location. We do have the uh, daily challenges and collectible spawn cycles, excuse me. I hope you enjoyed your day. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Again, um, it's Veterans Day. So uh, happy veteran day, Veterans Day to those who uh, served in the military. Uh, we salute you. Until next time, if you are new to the channel, subscribe, turn on bell notifications, and like the video. Have a great day, and peace out.